It did. It was a great sound. Uh, a lot of energy, a lot of really good things, a lot we can improve on for sure, so it's going to be a really important film to watch. But uh, it was a start to put pads on for the first day, shoulder pads, and then tomorrow we'll be in full gear. Yeah, kind of encouraging to see that type of energy going in tomorrow. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Everybody's eager, you know, and, and what's really critical is that the drill work that we do carry, carries over into when we play real football. And uh, so you can, see each, you can see improvement each and every day. Yeah. As far as the uh, tackling, uh, any improvement there today? A little bit, a little bit. It's it's a process for sure. You know, people are used to doing certain things and they have built-in habits, and it's hard to break habits. But that's what you know repetition is for, and we'll keep keep continuing to do it and rep it and make sure we're pointing out the good ones and the ones that we could do them better. Yeah, in, in putting something like that in, I mean, as a coach, do you see it's a sure tackle, and as a fringe benefit, it's also it is. Safer for the players, yeah, it is. I mean, number one is safety to keep the head out of the game. I think we have an obligation as coaches to do that uh, for our players, for our young people. But uh, over time, watching it, uh, you do make better tackles. Uh, when you go high, sometimes you you miss guys. Guys can pull out of it and things like that. The name of the game is getting guys on the ground. And if you can tackle them around their legs and get them on the ground, that's the name of the game. Parts of quarterbacks go. I'm just wondering. I mean, it's been what three days, but in terms of uh, command, confidence level, and what they're being asked to do, I mean, where do you feel like they are right now? A lot better today. Nowhere close to where we need to be, but a lot better today. Um, a lot less mistakes today, as far as formations lining up, control on the offense, uh, the tempo that we're playing with was better today. They were more sharp on the throwing the football today. Uh, but uh, each and every day, I, I expect him to, to improve. Yeah. What do you think spun that in that direction today? I think just reps. You know, the more they get used to what we're doing, uh, their fundamentals, getting their fundamentals down, working on that. Um, you know, that as long as they continue to do that and come out here every day with an attitude to improve, I think they will. Okay. Uh, running back wise, I know you used to have a thousand yard rusher back there for pretty much every year. Yeah. Uh, was there a common theme to those guys you had at Cal? One thing that they all did? Uh, well, they were, they all had a really good feel for the game. They were all tough. They all had a really good lateral movement. They had quickness. Um, most of them could catch the ball really well, and pass protect really well. So we were really fortunate there to always have a tandem of backs that were, that were really solid. And uh, so we're not quite there and uh, we need to get there, you know, of course. But uh, again, those guys are improving each and every day, you know, with just little things, you know, attention to detail, catching the football, how they're making their reads, uh, how they're getting used to cutting, how they're getting used to seeing it. So uh, again, they are a little bit better today. Okay. I mean, you see that within that group though, or is that something you need to I think it's way too early uh, to say that. And, you know, we're excited about the new guys coming in as well in the fall, because yeah. uh, they're pretty special guys. So. Um, you know, it'd be a good competition there. Okay. Got a few guys who are healthier now. Uh, injured a lot last year. I mean, uh, just kind of progress them through the spring and see how they. Who the, the people? The, the running backs. Yeah. I mean, with yeah. The, the, I think most of them are coming off of injury, yeah. really. You know, and so it's going to take them a little while to get their confidence back. Number one, I think any time you have a leg injury as a back. You know, it uh, it always causes a little hesitation, a little uncertainty, and so every day, the more they get out here, the more reps they take, the more they get comfortable with that and gain more confidence, and so that's what we're looking to do throughout the remainder of the spring.